Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, wrong. <laughs> Greetings, Globelings and Flat Earthers. Today, we have a good one for you. We're going to talk about the equator is impossible on the globe. It makes zero sense. You're going to find out why. Okay. So this is the globe. Okay. And we're going to put the equator on it. So just a sec. Oh, how perfect is that? Okay. Let's uh, get this elastic band here. We'll get another one for the ecliptic. Okay, They're very tricky. They got these funny, fancy names. Okay, so. We'll put this on. So how's that? The equator. Okay. Now, what do they say? They say it's tilted. So 23.4 degrees. So that would tilt it down like that. And the sun is hitting this thing head on. So now it's hitting it head on because it's always lined up to the equator. So the sun is like over here. This is the closest part of the ball that hits the sun rays. So it's going to be the hottest. And we all know the equator is the hottest. In fact, the hottest temperatures are between the two tropics. So up here is one tropic, and then in the south, there's the other tropic right there. So in between those two, it's supposed to be the hottest. Okay? That's impossible. Okay, this is another example of a breakdown in the globe model, okay, a severe mechanical failure. Like I said, and like I will always keep reminding you, they don't have a working model. <laughs> it's a joke. Nothing works on the globe. Now watch this. We're going to put in the ecliptic, they call it, and this is supposed to account for the tilt, okay? The tilt, okay, you're going to learn a lot here today. There. So that pink thing now, so we just tilted this thing, okay? So the axis is coming here instead of there, we're tilting it. So this becomes the part that's closest to the sun now, okay? And this thing is spinning, okay? It's crazy. So how can, this is gonna be 66.6 .6 degrees, it's not even hitting the sun head on anymore. How can it be the hottest? And then it's supposed to be like that on an angle all the way around? Are they crazy? Okay, that could never work, ever. So, this is where the ecliptic intersects the equator on both sides. So now they have another problem, because this is the part that's facing the sun. Well, look what happens twice a day morning and night, the sun is going to be directly over the equator. The equator is the yellow one. It should be tilted like that. Well, that only happens twice a year. How? <laughs> so twice a day, they're going to have it directly over the equator, the sun, even if it's for a little while, a moment, whatever, it crosses over. That doesn't happen. It happens twice a year. That's, <clears throat> that's the middle of the analemma. That's when the sun is going around the equator. See, so everything makes perfect sense on the flat earth. The flat earth map is the map. Only retards don't think it is. They've been brainwashed in the head to have, oh, no model. Oh, I'm going to talk about flat earth. I got no map. Uh, I don't know what's going on. The sun is a ball and it, it doesn't work. The light, stupid. These people are retarded. They're worse off than when they believed in the globe. At least with the globe, they had scripted stories that they could reply and at least look intelligent. Now they don't anymore. 
So, anyways, we already did a video on that. Um, yeah, so how's it gonna work? And then there's this place that, uh, on the net, you're gonna love this. It's called Null School, and it's supposed to be a real-time animated weather patterns. Okay, so it's gonna show you the coldest regions and the hottest. And so for the hot, you're gonna have this like orange band, and it's between the two tropics. And they used to have a flat earth map. Figure that, and it would be the perfect circle, because that's what the sun is doing. It's going between the two tropics in a circle. So obviously that's gonna be the hottest you know, part. And they took it down. It's not on there anymore, but I have a video by a legend on YouTube from a long time ago, the BS detector, okay? This guy, huh, I'm telling you, anybody who has any of his videos, please leave me the link, I need them. I have a few, I don't think I have them all, but I have some of the key ones. And this one with the, <laughs> the equator's impossible on the globe. So there you go, so how are you gonna have, you know, the equator, everything, would shift to the ecliptic. Sorry, this is the ecliptic. So you're saying it's tilted like this, right? Okay, so there's your tilted, whoops. Okay, so there's your tilted equator, and then this is your new ecliptic that's facing the sun. Everything will just shift, okay? All the climate, everything, the, the temperate zones, it'll all line up to this, because that's closest to the sun, obviously, obviously. And so, you know, they want you to believe that you can still do it somehow. <laughs> this part here on an angle. How are you gonna have the hottest? The hottest is when it's hitting the sun at 90 degrees. This is hitting the sun now, facing the sun, which is over here, facing the sun at 66.6 .6 degrees. How's that gonna work? How's that gonna work? Okay, facing the sun at 66.6 .6 degrees. It's stupid, it doesn't work. It's broken, okay? The ecliptic is where the hottest is gonna be, but it's not. So when they show it on their ball, it's tilted like this. And then you got the hot going all the way around. It's stupid, so no wonder they took away, they took away the, the flat earth uh, version um, a couple years ago, I think now. So that just shows you how scared they are. You know, when it gets pointed out, the truth, but that is the map. It's called the Aquidistant Ezimuthal Map, and you can't debunk it. Okay, we have a perfect working model. The sun goes around, spirals between the two tropics. Uh, the analemma coincides perfectly. There's just, you can't beat it. The flat earth is the truth. So, have fun globe huggers. How is your stupid ball gonna work now? See you later. So I had a little more time to kill than I thought. And we're going to pick it up a little more. Okay, so we were talking about the ecliptic and how stupid it is to have an equator and an ecliptic. This is what happens when they try to reverse engineer the truth, the flat earth to the ball. Okay. There's so many holes and flaws in their model. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Nothing works on it. They have these scripted replies. So yeah, here it is again. Okay, this is your equator. Okay. This is your Earth. <laughs> and here's the equator. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to tilt it. And now this is your ecliptic, they call it. Okay, but it's going to be your new equator because it's hitting the sun at 90 degrees. This isn't anymore. So anyways, I don't know why I bothered coming back on just to say that even though I already cleared it up. What else do you want to talk about? Just hang out, watch me drink some beer. Mm. Uh. Show you the back. So yeah, 
the devil ball. Somebody was calling it. Doesn't work. Uh, navigation. Look at the old shipping routes. Fiber optic cables, how they're laying them down. Look at uh, the old explorers, uh, how many miles they clocked to go around Antarctica. And you wonder why they have an Antarctica treaty? Are you stupid? Okay, they don't want you to see the ice wall. And then there's idiots saying, oh, what ice wall? Oh, we're not sure if there's an ice wall. No, there is an ice wall. Okay. It's the old explorers found it, Cook, Ross. Okay. It's like an ice wall down there. And you would need that to hold in the water. And there's no secret passage that goes out. And only the flat earth map makes sense with the amount of miles they clocked. Okay. So in reality, they're saying Antarctica... I mean, in their reality, it's only 12,000 miles around. Well, how could that be? You know, when the early explorers are clocking, you know, 55,000 average. So, you know, 59 in one case. Yeah, they went a little indirect, you know, went here and there to get some supplies. But they didn't make a five-fold mistake going all the way around five times, you know. As if they didn't know where they were. That doesn't make any sense at all. So, right there, the whole globe model is debunked completely, okay? And someone gave me an excellent video of uh, an eclipse of the midnight sun in the north, and it was being eclipsed going on. Well, yeah, I'd like to see that, uh, you know, happening in the Antarctica. I really would like to see that. Um, there are fake videos in Antarctica, the light never changes intensity, and they added the fake sun. Oh, I, I totally destroyed that. You go to flatearthclassroom.com, it's all there. Just, you cannot get a better destruction of the globe, I think, except flatearthclassroom.com. We have the, the strongest proofs. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Lots of time, lots of time. So, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, oh, we got a lot of good videos planned. Oh my God. Um, of course, they're all not scripted, which is the beauty of it. You never know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. They're random. That's what I like about it. So anyways, we're going to try some uh, undercover work. Yeah. Got a nice, well actually I don't want to give too much away, no, no I'm not going to say, but you're going to love it, you're going to love it, we're going to be doing some interviews, and it's going to be a lot of fun, we're going to ask the good questions that, you know, they can't answer. Oh, it's, it's freezing out here, and I am holding a freezing cold beer like it feels like a block of ice, but it tastes so good cold. I'm really liking this uh, Viking beer here. It's so good. I want to say my favorite comment on my last video. It said something about the facts. Just the facts. And he wrote this. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. I like that. Um, what else could I say? Oh, it's just embarrassing. Man. I can't believe I ever believed in that crap. That's what it requires, is belief, blind faith. If you have a thinking brain, there's no way you can fall for that. It just, there's no way. The only thing you can say is, oh well, Oh, the space agencies, they're all in on it? No, that couldn't be. It's stupid. It's like fluoride. Are you going to say that all the hygienists, all the dentists, all the stores that sell it, they're in on it? On selling you rat poison that's bad for your brain? Okay, it's so easy to fool the masses. Okay, and then they feed on each other, the sheeple. Bah, you know? They're just everywhere. They just have to see, you know, oh, is, is that guy awake? Is that guy awake? Imagine if they saw just maybe 
five people walking down the street wearing these. Just think about it. Okay, imagine 10 or 20. They would shit. They would shit. They would think they're being invaded, like, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on Teespring. Just gonna put merch now out there. <clears throat> Just for fun. You know, all the channels are doing it, I'm gonna do it too. I think this one is the coolest ladders hoodie for sure. The most powerful. <sighs> it would be cool if it said F over 2 pi on the side here, but. Oh, well, we'll hand those out on the business cards. <clears throat> Let's see. A couple more sips, and we're done with this one. I decked it over the ecliptic. How stupid. How stupid. Yeah, and you gotta imagine a dome. If you want to explain the equinox, that, that was from the last video. That's retarded. Uh, so much. And I'm talking. This girl comes on in the comments in the last video. And uh, you just. You know, sometimes you can't get through to people. They're so stuck in their ways. Oh yeah, you can, uh, you can have combustion in a vacuum. Yeah, sure you can. I gave her the videos from Cody's lab and she comes back with the same thing. Again and again and again. Like, what's wrong with these people? You know, it's like anything that is contradictory to their religion it just it doesn't get in. It stops right about there. I don't know. Yeah, rockets do not work in space. I'm going to do another really good demo. I mean, you spray paint, and I'll be, you know, drawing the nozzle there, like the NASA guy did in the '60s. Oh, it was funny because in the '60s he goes, "Oh, and an, and one more thing. Many people in the past believed that." Rockets needed a solid body of atmosphere to push against. And they saw the truth there. But that is incorrect. So he just told you the truth. Many people in the past. Means everybody knew. And that's why Goddard, when he came out with this bullshit stupidity, that they don't need, you know, nothing to push against. Well, what? The New York Times ridiculed them for 50 years. Of course, you know, these idiots who believe in Goddard, they don't know about the media takeover. You know, oh yeah, we thank the New York Times and, you know, everybody was there at this meeting. And, uh, you know, for keeping every our plans a secret, you know. Well, what does that tell you when just a handful of people are controlling the media? And then they force the New York Times to do a reversal. Oh boy, that's got a lot of credibility in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Try that in a court of law and see how far you get. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm guilty. Oh no, 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 I'm not guilty. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, sure, buddy. Whatever you say. Stupid, stupid. People just don't think anymore. They don't know how to think. They don't know how to think. They just want to believe. Oh, NASA, woohoo. That's, that's what it's come to. So it, it's a comedy. It, it just, it's excellent. I love putting the videos up and seeing the comments. Who's going to come on and start trying to challenge something that they've already lost to begin with. And just to see the stupid rationalizations and everything that they're doing. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> Student there um, saw me making a video. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I better turn this one off. Time to go. I think uh, I see the counter flashing here. Have a good one. Cheers. And uh, it's flat.